Welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of Nespresso content as well as unboxings and reviews of products that will help make your life easier. Today we are doing a review. So we're going to be comparing the Stormio Boost Pod, which came out earlier this year, to the regular Stormio Pod. Stormio is a like higher intensity so it's a eight out of 11 intensity coffee. I think Intenso is the highest like coffee pod size of their regular line in terms of intensity. So what they say about Stormio is that it is a dark roasted blend that rushes in with a myriad of aromas, but how can that, all that strength could, how can that all that strength could come from Arabicas? So, a long, slow roast intensifies the Nicaraguan and Guatemalan cereal aromatics to notes of spices and wood. This Virtuo coffee is a gathering storm in a cup of coffee, or a coffee cup. <laughs> wow, that is, uh, cheesy. <laughs> but this is my husband's favorite pod, so this is not one of my favorites, but that will, you know, give me an unbiased of whether it is the same or not, I guess. So on the Boost, they do say there's extra caffeine from natural coffee extracts. Uh, they say, Enchanting and Wild, Stormio's dark blend with slow-roasted Nicaraguan and Guatemalan coffees with cereal, spicy, and woody notes enhanced with natural coffee extracts. Same great taste, extra boost. And then um, they say that it has 200 milligrams of caffeine per cup on average, 20% more versus the regular Stormio blend uh, and they don't actually tell you on From what I can see like on the Stormio pod how much caffeine is in it. So I just assume you just subtract 20% from 200 milligrams, but uh, Yeah, so we'll see if there's really a difference and uh, These are the pods. So they are the exact same color the only difference is the top of the boost pod has like a boost symbol I don't know it has like silver around the top so that's how you know the difference as well as if it has uh, the name which usually they do but sometimes they use a different foil it says Stormio boost on this one and then just Stormio on this one but they are the regular 7.7 .7 fluid ounce coffee size and I'm going to brew them and then we'll come back and try them so I don't know if you can really tell on camera but the one in my right hand is the regular Stormio, and then this is the Stormio Boost on my left hand. So, in person, the Boost looks darker than the Stormio, just like a little bit. So, we're just going to try them black and see. I think they smell like a teeny bit different, but very similar. So, okay, this is the boost. I'm gonna just stir in the crema a little bit. It tastes like coffee. Tastes woody, spicy. Oh, the spoon is hot. Okay, now we're gonna stir in the crema on the regular Stormio. Interesting. I would say that the notes are stronger in the regular Stormio. So like the woodiness and the spiciness. Yeah, I think the regular Stormio has stronger notes than the Stormio Boost. Like, it, the woodiness is still there in the regular Stormio Boost, or in the Stormio Boost, but like, I don't know, it's just a little stronger in terms of that flavor in the Stormio. But like, the intensity of the coffee, I think, is still the same. Yeah, that's very interesting. So I'm just gonna add like a little cream to each of them to see how it tastes like that. And then, yeah, I don't know that I necessarily like one better than the other in terms of taste, but they do taste very similar, just the Stormio has more of those coffee notes that they call out like on the box, 
but the intensity is still like very similar. Okay, if you're wondering how I'm like not mixing them up, it is uh, because there is a scratch on this mug. And so I know that's the boost mug, <laughs> but okay, let's try them with cream or oat milk, not cream, but. I think that generally I've noticed for at least for me when I add like cream and brings out more of like the cereal notes and uh, kind of mellows the other notes in the coffee, at least in, for my like taste buds. And that's definitely what I'm like feeling here. They taste a lot more similar now with the oat milk in it. And I know it's quite obvious that this one has more oat milk than this one, but they still taste like very similar. I will have to report back on the boost portion of this, but in terms of the actual taste, I think that they are very similar. If you drink your coffee black, then you're gonna get more of those notes from the coffee in the regular Stormio than the Stormio boost. But you know, let me know in the comments below, have you compared Stormio and Stormio boost at home? And do you feel the same way or uh, were you able to still taste the notes just as well in the Stormio Boost? So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.